What's up, guys? I wanted to shoot outside today, but I don't know if you can really look outside, but it's pretty dark. Don't really want to mess my camera up. Because I think, it, yeah, it's actually just started raining. And I need to get home because I have a therapist appointment. So I'm coming to you from my car. It's on the handle. Don't worry. I'm not being, see, I got two hands on the wheel. I'm not being dangerous or anything, but I wanted to talk to you guys about racing. This past weekend, I competed in my first half marathon. I'm decently proud to say, I'll be very proud to say full marathon, but I should be proud about the half marathon. It's definitely a distance that I would say most people could not do. So, and not even because of that, it's a distance that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I'm just happy to get it done. And I signed up for it a week ahead of time. And I should have this GPS. I signed up for it a week ahead of time and I got it done really not knowing what my pace would be. And I was decent. I think I got maybe 50th out of 860 and I think sixth in my age group. So not terrible. I have five tips for you today for why I think you should race and why I think racing is good for any runner at any level, whether you're a beginner, whether you're just getting started, whether you want to get started soon, or whether you're a seasoned runner, racing will make a positive impact on your running. Reason number one is that it promotes a healthy lifestyle. When you're racing, like for, for example, this past week, I struggled with lactose a lot, honestly. And I have to cut out all lactose, which isn't good for you anyway. But I had to cut out lactose for the week before. I didn't eat greasy foods the week before. I've been trying, I tried to get my weight down so it's like less pressure on my knees. All those things I tried to do one to two weeks before I race. And those things are positive effects on your life. I think while you're preparing for the race, while you're getting ready, it's a very, it's, it creates good habits for your life. Like for me, getting rid of the lactose, getting on a consistent running schedule, making sure I'm always outside, making sure I'm running early in the morning also, because the race is early in the morning. I think those things are positive for my life in general. So I believe that racing creates a positive lifestyle for you. The reason why I think racing is positive and a good thing for a runner is it helps you find your true pace. When you're out on the trail alone or even maybe with some friends and you're talking and just having a good time, it can be kind of hard to figure out what the right pace is for you or what your real pace is, how fast you actually can run. But when you're running and you have the adrenaline of race day happening and you want to do well because you paid for it and you showed up early in the morning and you've been preparing, you'll really know what your pace is and you'll really know what pace you should be training at. Reason number three is for all you guys that say you have nobody to run with and it's hard to find people. I'm one of those people. It is so difficult to find, especially, especially as you start getting in higher distances, to find people to run with and find people that run a similar pace to you. But at a race is a perfect place to do that. It's the perfect place to go and be running with people that run similar paces and, eat and actually run. It's a great place to go meet people that do similar hobby to you, that do a similar hobby to you. Clearly they run, clearly they work out, clearly they exercise because they're there. And so it's a great place for you to meet people that are doing something similar to you and that have like-minded goals as you. And hopefully, or possibly in the area close to you, but especially if you're doing a race by your home. Like I was racing about 35 minutes from my house. It's possible for me to meet up with people and run with people within 35 minutes of me because they're close by me. It's not necessarily that I'm running in Connecticut or Utah or California or Colorado or something like that. And I'm gonna meet up with them. No, I'm running with people around my area so I can meet people close to me. And that's always gonna help you promote and keep a good healthy lifestyle and a good running balance in your life to just have some people, other people to lean on that have similar goals to yourself. Rule number four is people that say they struggle with staying motivated to keep training and to keep working out. I paid about $100 for this last half marathon and you best believe I was gonna do my best. Paying for anything in life, paying for school, paying for to train, paying to, paying to race, paying to work out is always an extra incentive for you to get out there and to keep training. 
I truly believe that. It is for me at least. So paying to race is a great way to stay motivated. As I was running the race, somebody had a sign up on the side of the road that said, remember guys, you paid for this. And that was just a great point to me. Like, yes, I actually did pay for this. I should not treat this as punishment. I shouldn't treat this as something I hate to do because I paid for it. I signed up for it. And I, I signed up to get up at 5.30 in the morning and race. So guys, remember, when you sign up for it or when you pay to do it, that's an extra incentive for you to do it and to get it done. Fifth is the sense of accomplishment. Crossing that finish line, it felt amazing. Around mile 10 and mile 11, I can honestly say it didn't feel that amazing. I really had to use the restroom. I was suffering. But when I crossed the finish line, I could finally chill and there were people cheering me on. My dad was there, he gave me a high five. I got some cool pictures. The sense of accomplishment was amazing. There was nothing that I've experienced recently that was like it since playing high school sports really, which will never happen again. So that sense of accomplishment makes me want to do it again and makes me want to continue to keep working, to stay after it, and to stay out there. So guys, that sense of accomplishment, it really can't be beat. It'll make you keep your head up, it'll make you keep smiling, and it'll force you to keep moving forward. And even if the race didn't turn out how you wanted it to, hopefully that'll work as motivation for next time for you to work harder and keep going. So guys, these are my five tips for why I think you should race. Get out there, sign up for one, whether it's a 5K, a one mile walk, uh, a 10K, a half marathon, marathon, triathlon, bike race, swim race, whatever. These are five reasons why I think you should race. So guys, keep your head up, stay smiling, stay after it, keep doing cardio, it'll make your life better. It's been GP with another episode of GP's Free Game. Check me out again next week. Thanks for tuning in. Yo! If you guys need pre or post race advice, I'm here for you. Just leave that in the comments. Say that in the comments. I'll give you what I have, what's worked for me for my triathlon and my races and my street races. So guys, just let me know. Thanks for tuning in.